Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jay Mehta here from Mumbai. And in this video, we are going to answer a little critical question. And the question is, how do we treat azoospermia, which develops post chemotherapy? That means, how do we address patients who have azoospermia and have got azoospermia because they have undergone some form of chemotherapy? Now remember, chemotherapy, though I am not a medical oncologist, I am not the best or the most qualified person to speak about chemotherapy. But if we look at chemotherapy, it is something which is cytotoxic. What does that mean? That means it is toxic to the cells. That's what is the meaning of cytotoxic. So it goes and affects the cells in the body. Now, these cells can also be cancer cells, which we call as tumor cells, or it can be routine, healthy body cells, which could be blood cells, which could be the cells in the testes. And the cells in the testes, as we all know, are the sperms. Obviously, if you understand this much, you will realize that chemotherapy is something which is going to severely affect the sperm quality. Most probably leading to azoospermia, which could be temporary and in quite a lot of cases, it could be permanent. Now, this effect of a chemotherapy on the sperm count is dependent on what type of chemotherapy or what drugs are used in a particular chemotherapy. Obviously, it is your treating medical oncologist who is the best person to take decisions as to which drugs are the best for your particular cancer. But remember, typically, the drugs which are alkylating agents, what we commonly call as cyclophosphamide and products related to cyclophosphamide, which are predominantly used in blood cancers. If I talk of blood cancers, they are going to be either lymphomas or leukemias. And obviously some other form of cancers like the sarcomas. This alkylating agents are the type of chemotherapeutic drugs which have probably the worst effect on the testes. It is these drugs which cause a lot of destruction of testicular cells leading to a permanent azoospermia. At this point in time, I want to put and answer one question. Quite a lot of times, patients feel that if they have testicular cancer, and if any form of chemotherapy is given for testicular cancer, it will lead to permanent azoospermia and they will never retrieve sperms. Remember, it is not like that. Patients who have testicular cancer, who have been treated with chemotherapeutic agents, and even if a single testis is pending, we ourselves have done so many patients where we retrieve sperms using the techniques of microdissection in such patients as well. And that is one point which I wanted to clear about testicular cancer and azoospermia because that is a very, very, very common doubt in the minds of the patient. There are two or three things which are important to remember as far as chemotherapy induced azoospermia is concerned. And this is something which is practiced globally. And that is fertility preservation in the form of sperm or semen cryopreservation prior to starting your chemotherapy. This is something which almost all good medical oncologists recommend to their patients in the country of India, provided the patient is in the reproductive age group, such that the patient can go to a reproductive specialist or an IVF clinic and go and bank their sperms. These sperms are banked prior to starting the chemotherapy. So that means they are the native sperms of the patient. Once these sperms are banked, these sperms can be used later, let's say three years later, five years later, once chemotherapy is finished and the patient has achieved complete remission and once their medical oncologist gives them a green signal or clearance to go ahead and have a reproductive career. So the best thing is to do sperm preservation prior to starting chemotherapy. But let's assume you did not get the opportunity to cryopreserve your sperms prior to starting your chemotherapy. What do you do 
in such cases remember as i said even if there is azuspermia following chemotherapy we usually recommend couples to initiate treatment for reproduction once their medical oncologist has given clearance this is usually going to occur approximately 2 and 1/2 to 3 years after your final chemotherapy once the patient is in remission for such patients the most ideal treatment where sperms have not been banked is to do micro dissection this is a technique which we have described in multiple of our videos as you all know we super specialize in the technique of micro dissection using the stereo zoom microscope which is placed over the testis and in such situations we are able to retrieve sperms in close to 40 to 60% of males who have undergone any form of chemotherapy in the past but what is very important to remember is this remember chemotherapy can also induce little long lasting dna damage to the cells that means it can affect the sperm dna quality as well as the sperm dna integrity that means that it can reduce the success rate of having a successful conception usually for patients in whom we are doing micro dissection due to azuspermia following chemotherapy the success rate following the embryo transfer and formation of embryos is going to be in the range of approximately 10 to 20% and not more than that the sperm retrieval rate could be higher it could be between 40 and 60% but the success rate of ivf is going to be around 10 to 20% and there is going to be a slightly enhanced risk or increased risk of having abortions and one of the reasons why this happens is predominantly because of the long term dna damage which has been induced by the chemotherapy over the sperm dna as a result of this before i close i again want to reiterate and state that the best method to prevent this is to do a cryo preservation of your sperm sample prior to starting your chemotherapy which will definitely be recommended to you by your medical oncologist and patients must consider that very very seriously i'm sure there are a lot more questions to this you can post them in the comments box me or one of my team members will get back to you as quickly as we can thank you